Once you record a video using Loom, you will be brought to the page with the video and you can use this copy link button to copy the link and then you can share that link um, in any of your platforms. If you're going to share it in Seesaw, when you go to post student work, if you use this link option and paste the URL here, what will happen is you will just get the generic Loom logo. You won't actually get a preview of the video and you have this little link icon down here that would take you to the video. Now a lot of times teachers don't like having this Loom logo. They want a picture of the video or a preview or something else. So what you can do is I'm going to start back here again. Instead of picking this link option, one option that you can do is start with a drawing and then you can insert your own picture. So this could be a screenshot of the video, uh, an icon of the application or cover of the book or whatever else you might want to add. Um, if you click the little camera icon here, you have the ability to upload an image if it's already saved on your computer or you could use the web camera on your laptop um, by clicking the photo. But if you are going to upload something that's already uh, on your computer, you can find the picture wherever you have it saved and then that image will get inserted into your Seesaw drawing canvas. You can resize it however you would like. Then what you would do to link the Loom video is to click the three dots and click this link button here and now paste the link that you had copied from Loom And now, same thing, the Loom video is linked to this picture, but you chose the picture rather than that generic Loom icon. One thing I would recommend, though, is to always lock this in place when you're finished uh, resizing and linking. You can lock it in place by clicking the three dots and then selecting the lock option. And then this way, it just can't accidentally be new, moved. Then to view the video, you would just click that link and it's gonna open up that video that you could play. If you need to um, add any additional directions, uh, you can always add a text box with written directions or another way uh, to leave verbal directions on each page is to use this little caption button down here in the bottom left corner. And you can either type a caption or you could add a voice caption. Um, so this is nice for the younger grades that may not be able to read. You could leave uh, verbal audio directions for them to listen to uh, with directions to click that link if they need to watch the Loom video. So that's the main way that teachers will add a link to a Loom video uh, without having that generic logo. One other option uh, that you could choose to use is you could choose to uh, use this note. And now this is going to be more written. So if you have a note here, um, you would type a message and then you could paste that link in and then when that posts, this would actually be a clickable link. So if I posted it to the student journal, now the students would have to click that link. And again, it would open up the video. So that's the other option that you can use when sharing a Loom video in Seesaw.